Hey guys, it's Shayna and today we are going to make the super quick and easy DIY no sew pillowcases and I'm going to show you how to make your very own custom pillow insert. I found this leather looking fabric in the remnant section at my local craft store and it was about a yard of fabric for under seven bucks, which is an absolute steal. So for this project, you're gonna need stuffing, a pillowcase, a sewing machine for the insert, a ruler, measuring tape, chalk, a stapler, and a glue gun. So now I'm going to open up my fabric and as you can see, there is a little section of it that's damaged, but that's okay because I still have enough fabric to make three 16 by 16 inch throw pillows. So I'm gonna mark with my chalk every 17 inches. You wanna leave about an inch of space so that you do have a little bit of room to work with. Now since mine was on the end of the ream, I had to make sure that I stopped before I got to that part that got messed up. Now I'm gonna turn my measuring tape widthwise and I'm gonna make a mark at 11 inches, move the tape down, make a mark at 16 inches, and then make another mark nine inches after that. So it should end up looking something like this. Now I'm gonna make a vertical line or it may look kind of horizontal the way the camera is. That's just gonna let me know where I need to cut to make the width of the pillow. Then I'm gonna fold the fabric over and line it up and cut. So now I'm left with the long piece that's gonna make up my pillow. And I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and fold down whatever excess is left over. So it's gonna end up looking like this. Now I'm gonna fold that piece down to where I made the mark. Then I'm gonna fold the other side up and over to where I made the second mark. Now I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm gonna staple at the thickest part and make sure it goes all the way through. And then I'm just gonna staple all the way down. You wanna make sure the staples are pretty close together. They don't have to be right on top of each other, but you wanna make sure that they're close enough together so that when you turn it inside out, there won't be any gaps. And when you get to the edge, you wanna make sure that the staple doesn't go over the edge. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So once you get done, you're gonna turn the pillowcase right side out so that the nice side of the fabric is facing outward. And make sure you push those corners out. So your pillowcase should come out looking like this. So congratulations, you have successfully made your very own envelope pillowcase with no sewing. Now we're going to stuff the pillowcase. I used an old sleeping pillow that we had that was kind of old and dingy and decided to reuse the stuffing from inside it. So I'm gonna show you how to make the pillow insert using this empty pillowcase. Normally you would have the pillow that had its stuffing in it and all that type of stuff, but since I already cut that one up, basically you're gonna cut the pillowcase open and take all of the stuffing out so that it's flat like this pillowcase. Then you're gonna take your measuring tape and measure out how big you need the pillow to be. Since I have a 16 by 16 inch pillowcase, I made my pillow 16 by 16 inches. Then I'm gonna take the pillowcase and fold it to where I made the chalk marks. And also cut it in a corner, that way there's way less to sew. Now we're gonna sew this side completely shut. Then we're gonna sew this side about halfway so that we can stuff the pillow. So I'm just taking the stuffing from the old pillows and putting it into the new pillow inserts that I made today. Generally, you can make about two smaller pillows, the 16 by 16 inch pillows with one standard size pillow. 
I prefer doing it this way because it's way cheaper than buying the filling out of a craft store and you can get super cheap pillows out of your local box store for under three bucks. Whereas if you bought craft stuffing, you would be spending 10 to 12 for the same amount. So once you get the pillow as firm as you want it, go ahead and sew the side up and then you're gonna need to move the stuffing around so that it makes the pillow even and stuff your pillow. All right guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share it. Also, don't forget to head over to the blog to check out the little pink pillow that I made as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.